This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Oxford Titan Motorcycle Disc Brake Lock. This lock is designed to fit over the disc brake rotor of a motorcycle and then lock in place. That should prevent the wheel from turning and therefore prevent most forms of rollaway theft. Now I just got this lock in the mail a couple of days ago and I have to say that I am already disappointed with it. You see, I was looking for an inexpensive solid steel disc brake lock on which I could test the bolt extractor exploit. If you're not familiar with that, I encourage you to check out video number 618 in which I show how you can quickly and quietly break a lock like this in half using a bolt extractor. If you are interested, I'll leave a link in the description below. In any case, most of these locks seem to be made out of cast zinc, which is relatively easy to break. So I was looking for an inexpensive steel lock so I could give the bolt extractor more of a test. This one seemed to fit the bill because it says right on the packaging that it is made from tough alloy steel. Unfortunately, when it showed up, it seems to be made of the same cast garbage that most other disc brake locks are made of. So this is not the lock I was looking for. If you are familiar, however, with an inexpensive solid steel disc brake lock like this one, please put it in the comments below because I am still looking. In any case, what we're going to do today is see what it takes to pick into this lock. This lock comes with a seven disc disc detainer core that is not key retaining. And what that means is that you can install this lock with one hand, so it's very convenient to use. When picking this open, the first thing we do is rotate all of the discs as far clockwise as they will go. After that, I can insert my disc detainer pick. Now this lock tensions from the back of the lock, so that's what this particular pick is designed to do. And I'm looking for the seventh disc, and I slipped off it. Let's try that one more time. Okay, I think I am centered on the seventh disc right now, so let's start looking for the sixth disc and get to picking. Okay, number six. I think I might have found a gate for him. He was not binding tightly. Number five is binding a little tighter. And I think I found a gate for him. Number four seems to be in a gate already. Number three is really too loose to tell. Okay, number two is loose again, or I'm sorry, is loose. I don't think I'm moving up. I think I've lost count of my discs here. I think that's number two. And maybe we're on number one now. Okay, let's go back down to the bottom. Okay, number seven. I just moved that one a tiny bit and we got it open. So I did not feel any false gates or any other anti-pick measures in this. So not a terribly difficult lock to pick. Although I do have to say, picking disc detainer locks is generally speaking not a real world threat because most people who are looking to steal a motorcycle don't have the tools or the skills required to open these locks up. In any case, that's all I have for you today on this Oxford Titan motorcycle disc brake lock. Be on the lookout in the future because we'll probably introduce this guy to the, the bolt extractor. If you have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.